Hello everyone, this is Parth Verma and I'll be giving you a presentation on Bluetooth, Bluetooth architecture and Bluetooth protocol stack. So we will start with introduction. Um, Bluetooth wireless technology has become a global specification for short range wireless communication between portable device, mobile communication, desktop machines and peripherals. It enables users to exchange, transfer and synchronize data within a range of 100 meters Bluetooth uses 2.4 gigahertz of frequency band, which is locally available, globally available, and is not regulated by any board, and it is not licensed by any board. So we can uh, utilize this band for our own transformation of data, and we can create our own area where we can transform data. Now, why Bluetooth is so successful? Why Bluetooth is so um, appreciated? Because it is low power consuming, it is low cost and high availability, high interoperability. Why, why Bluetooth is cheap? Because it is it is using VSLI technology um, through which we can we can compact much of modules like radio frequency modules in a single chip. So we can have a lot of chips in a single integrated circuit. Now we use CMOS, that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor for VSLI and it uses 2.4 gigahertz of crucial bandwidth. And now we will come to Bluetooth architecture. What makes Bluetooth? Well, Bluetooth is a combination of software and hardware. Uh, it uses, first it uses application software, then there is a protocol stack and then there is a baseband and radio frequency semi, uh, semiconductor integrated circuit. What happening is, in a Bluetooth, it is a stack of three things, a software, a mediator, and a hardware. Mediator works like uh, taking instructions from software and giving those instructions in a machine language to the uh, integrated circuit to perform those actions. Now, what happening in Bluetooth hardware architecture is, it uses a typical, it is a typical wireless system consisting, consisting of uh, radio frequency blocks, a digital broadband logic block, and a microcontroller with some of some ROM. This ROM is available because the Bluetooth requires a software and the software is generally put it in this flash. <coughs> Typically initial implementation will consist of three or four chips in addition of a few passive components that have insignificant, insignificant cost. The design is optimized to, re to require very few external RF components to facilitate a rapid design. This is how a Bluetooth architecture looks like. User application, just a presentational layer. Then there's a um, protocol stack. And then there's a host control. And lastly, there is a baseband and link manager protocol, which is working above their hardware. So there's a chip, there's a hardware, and there's a host control, which uh, interact with both software and hardware. <clears throat> Now we will come to Bluetooth protocol. Bluetooth protocol. What Bluetooth protocol is? The complete Bluetooth protocol stack compromise, uh, co comprises both protocol that are specific to the Bluetooth technology, that is LMP, and those that can be used with many other platforms like WAP, UDP, and OBEX. These existing protocols were reused to speed up the development of Bluetooth protocol at the higher layer at the same time to facilitate adoption of legacy application with work with Bluetooth devices and help to ensure interoperability of these devices application. The Bluetooth protocol stack consists of four layers. The layers and the protocols are mentioned in this diagram. So we have an application layer, then we have a protocol layer, then we have a L2 cap, which is, and there's a host control layer, and then there's a hardware. Uh, hardware consists of a radio frequency blocks because the Bluetooth work technology works on radio frequency. Uh, earlier, we used to have infrared uh, transformation, which uses infrared waves, because uh, due to low modulation of infrared waves, we cannot transmit more data. Now we use um, now we use radio frequencies, which which are highly modulating, so we can transfer more data in a shorter period of time. That's why we use radio frequency as a core transmitting media of Bluetooth. <clears throat> Bluetooth protocol. In addition, the Bluetooth specification also defines a host control interface. As I told you, there's a mediator who works as a 
who works as inter interoperator between hardware and software, which provides a command interface to the baseband controller, link manager, and ac link manager to access hardware status and control registers. The core protocol and the Bluetooth radios are required by all the Bluetooth devices, while the rest of the protocols are used when they are needed. The cable replacement layer, the telephony control layer, and the adoption, adopted layer from application-oriented protocols, which enables application to run over the Bluetooth core protocols. Now we will see some, some of the application. Uh, usually uh, what we create is we create a Bluetooth wireless network around us, and then we transfer our media from one endpoint to another endpoint. By endpoint, I mean a portable devices or any other devices which have in Bluetooth technology enabled. Bluetooth technology can be used to make a wireless data con connection to conventional local areas network LAN via an access point equipped with a Bluetooth radio trans receiver that is wired to the lane. Once a wireless connection is established with one of the access points, a mobile device can access any of the resources on that lane, including printers, database servers, and internet. What we are creating is a LAN area network through, through two devices having Bluetooth enabled. Whenever we want to send a data from one device to another device, we have to be in that uh, we have to be in that LAN area so that we can transfer our uh, media or whatever data we need to transfer from one point to another point. The user can tap out an email reply on a PDA, tell it to make an internet connection through a mobile phone and a print a copy of a web page on a printer nearby. So whenever the uh, Bluetooth gives us a <coughs> power to send or to transmit data to the devices which are uh, which are um, far away or which are uh, like if we are sitting here and we want to print our uh, presentation over there, then we can we just need to uh, turn on our Bluetooth devices and we can uh, print our presentation or any other document from uh, a single position. Now we, we will discuss some user scenarios. User scenarios are, are basically those scenarios where the Bluetooth technology is playing their, uh, is playing its parts. So uh, all in one phone, what is all in one phone? All in one, one phone is a phone which we can use anywhere. In office, it, the phone works as an intercom with no telephony charges. Um, in at home, it functions as a cordless phone with fixed line charges. Um, if a func it functions as a cellular phone when we are on the move, so a phone with a Bluetooth device enabled, we can uh, use it as multiple devices. Now, what is internet bridge? Internet bridge serve the internet regardless of the connection. Use portable computing devices to serve the internet anywhere through a mobile phone or through a wired connection. Uh, third one is automatic synchronization of address list, calendar, and all modifi modified on your desktop computer. Portable PC, PDA, and mobile phones as soon as those come within the range of their radio trans receivers. <coughs> so, when like we have multiple multiple devices with us um, having Bluetooth enabled, what we can do is uh, we can create a network, and in that network, whenever those devices uh, are placed they automatically automatically update their status they automatically update their data they automatically uh, receives images if we if i click an image from my dslr camera which has a bluetooth and i have a, a wireless network around me so what i'm doing is i'm clicking a picture with that with the dslr and transferring automatically that the image to the pc to the mobile or to print up for printing it so automatically it it, it is distributed to all the devices which are um, synchronized with that Bluetooth uh, wireless network. Now, what is interactive conference? In meeting and in conferences, the user can share information instantly with other participation or participant through, of course, um, portable computers. Last one is the cordless handset. Connect the handset to the mobile phone or mobile PC wirelessly to free your hand for more important tasks at office or at the car. So we were basically we use Bluetooth technology to um, to convert our speakers into a uh, ear earphone so that we can uh, free our hands and we can talk directly into that and we can transmit our um, data into mobile so the other person can hear us. Uh, 
uh, values personal area